don't you sit next to me, guys? You can find your cards down there. How you doing, Coach? We're joined now by CSU Bakersfield coach Rod Barnes and student athletes Caleb Higgins and Justin McCall. We will start by asking coach for an opening statement and then open the floor to questions for student athletes only. Once this segment is complete, the student athletes will be excused. We ask media to please raise your hand, identify yourself and your media outlet before asking your question. If you are on Zoom, please use the raise hand feature and when you're called upon, you'll be unmuted before your question. Coach, if you would please start us off with your thoughts after after today's game? First of all, I'd like to just uh, thank God uh, just to have this opportunity when we're in such a tough time for many coaches now and have friends that have lost their jobs. So I'm just thankful uh, to be the coach here at, at uh, Cal State University, Bakersfield. I'm thankful for these young men. Uh, obviously, we've had a tough season, played a lot of close games and uh, came up short, uh, but it's a new season now. And as I told our team, I really liked what I saw. Uh, really felt good about uh, the way we finished games. Uh, we rebounded the basketball. We played good defense. And uh, we scored when it was necessary to score and hit some big shots when they were trying to make a run. So uh, overall, it's probably one of our best finishes uh, of the year. So uh, we know we got a tough task next. Uh, we'll get a little time to enjoy this. But looking forward to our, our next round opponent. Okay, any questions for our student athletes, please? In the back. Greg Kerr, KBAK TV in Bakersfield. Start with you, Justin, if you could. Uh, you guys have had your share of frustration. How, how good does this feel after the season you guys have gone through? Uh, it feels really good uh, to come out here and, and get a win, especially to get things started off with the tournament. Uh, just going through the season, especially through conference play, you're not, not, not having many wins and losing against this team earlier in conference, it feels good to get a win. But uh, like coach said, you know, uh, we celebrated for a little bit in the locker room, but now we're back to locking in for Long Beach on Thursday. Adrian Levino, 23 ABC. Caleb, you mean having a game like you did, having the crowd support with the band as well as the prep squad, all the fans that came out from Kern County, how huge was that? It was, it was really huge. Uh, it's nice to see people out there cheering for us, and it gave us a boost on the court. Justin, seeing your dad pull it off with the women's team, the upset, how did it give you motivation for this one to pull up an upset as well? Uh, yeah, uh, during our, our pregame meal, you know, the whole team was watching the game because we couldn't be here in person. You know, everybody let out a big cheer when uh, Vanessa hit the putback. So uh, once we saw that, we were like, man, the girls won. They played against the same same team that we're playing. We definitely got to go out there and get a win tonight. Justin, I'll start with you, but Caleb, same question. I know you guys have been frustrated with your defense this season, but this was probably your best performance since Boise State, and you're really locked down. Can you just talk about you know, your identity coming back? Uh, yeah, it's, it's what we're known for here at Bakersfield. Uh, you know, we haven't been showing that throughout the season. Teams have been shooting, you know, 50 and even 60% on us a lot of times in the second half. Uh, so to come out here today and, and play great defense in the first half, and especially the second half where we've been struggling, uh, you know, it was, it was good to see. And, you know, it gives us a lot, of, a lot of confidence, you know, to do what we have to do on offense because we know that if we play defense the right way, we're going to get stops. Kyle really said it all. <laughs> Question on the left. Hi, my name is Madeline. I'm from the runner at CSUB. Uh, my question is for both of you. What were the emotions after doing the back-to-back -back dunks? Justin, can you go first? Uh, it was exciting, especially for me, because you know I was I was a part of it. But uh, it was. I don't know. Anytime I, I can get a dunk for our team, uh, you know, I want to. It's the easiest points you can get in basketball. And then on top of that, it's, it's a big momentum boost. So uh, I feel like the, the two dunks gave us, you know, even more momentum to get down there and play defense and get stops. Uh, the two dunks gave us huge momentum. It, it just had, a, we had a fire in us after them two dunks and we was playing hard. Uh, Isaac Camelli from GoRunners.com. Caleb, uh, you had a quieter first half, but then really exploded in the second half. Uh, what, what flipped the switch for you there? What was going on in your mind? Uh, being a dog. <laughs> I just had, I've been struggling all year. I just I want to be, I want to change. I want to be different in this 
in the fi- in the in the uh, playoffs. In the back. Last one for me. Uh, you guys played Long Beach at their place, a close game. Uh, ended up losing by nine, but it was much closer than that. Your thoughts on playing the beach? Uh, we know it's going to be a, a tough challenge, but uh, like you said, it was a close game. Uh, we feel like we played close games with uh, pretty much everybody in the conference throughout the season. So, you know, going against anybody in the tournament, whoever it would have been that we played, uh, we felt like we have a, a good chance to, to beat them, you know. Uh, we, obviously, it's going to be a tough uh, matchup, you know, being that they, they won the conference, only lost three games the whole season in conference. But, uh, you know, we feel like if we play tonight, we have a great shot at winning. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much. I have a question. Oh, sorry, one more. Um, Justin, uh, your dad was in the stands today. Um, he usually doesn't get to watch you play because he's on the road when you guys are at home, and then uh-huh. vice versa. Did it mean more? Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's always, uh, you know, real big for my, my father to get to see me play. Like, even throughout uh, high school, when I, I had, like, my section championships or whatever, he was here in Vegas, so he didn't get to watch me play those. So. Uh, just any time I get to play in front of my father, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's a big moment for me. And another question, um, Justin, uh, you had that nasty fall in the first half, came back uh, um, in the second half with those two dunks. Can you talk about your resilience? Uh, yeah, when I had that fall, it, it, it really hurt. I had, to, I had to, I'm not gonna lie, I had to come out for, for a few minutes and, uh, you know, get back right. Uh, shout out to our trainer, Mike, uh, for helping me get back onto the court. And, uh, you know, I just, went out there and willed it. You know, this is my last year uh, here at CSUB. So, uh, you know, I just got right. Uh, my adrenaline was rolling and, you know, I went back out there because, uh, you know, I knew my team needed me out there to fight. Thanks guys, appreciate it. <laughs> okay, questions for coach? Well, Coach, the defensive effort was just unbelievable. Uh, Ivan Reynolds on at and right was crazy good, and really the entire team. Can you just talk about the defensive effort that made the difference tonight? Well, I thought it was a, I thought it was a great effort. Um, you know, <laughs> people that criticized me all year uh, question why I changed. There were so many guys in the lineup. Uh, but after a lot of prayer and meditation, uh, I felt like Ivan was a guy to get the job done today. And I thought he did a great job. But also, I thought our other kids played extremely hard. And I thought they did a great job of not only uh, defending the shot, but I thought it was key that we got a bunch of rebounds. And I thought we dominated the glass in the second half. And that's what uh, helped our defensive effort. But we were different. I mean, you watched us. And we were different uh, the last eight to 10 minutes than what we've been all season, uh, besides the boys the game. So, um, you know, we're going to have to be like that on Thursday. Uh, but it was good to see us like the way, way we were on defense. Yeah, Coach, with all the, you know, COVID con- cancellations and rough conference stretches, how special is this win? And just how good does it make you feel as well? Well, I mean, I'm always, uh, you know, get excited or feel really good when our kids are successful uh, to see the work. Because I just told them, we've been through so much. We've been through so many close games. And I told them we were going to come here. It's going to be a new season. And uh, it's always great to start off with a win. So, um, you know, I feel really good about our kids and, and definitely feel good about the win today. Uh, my question is, how are you feeling about Thursday's game against Long Beach? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm going to feel the same way right now as, as I felt coming into this game. Uh, I felt like if we follow the game plan and we execute and we play with confidence, uh, I felt like we could beat anyone uh, here. Uh, obviously, we got to play well. And today, if, you know, from our defense to uh, us scoring the ball better than what we have, then, um, you know, I, I'm confident in our team. Um, you know, obviously, they're a good team. They got number one seed. You don't, you don't do that in this league and not be good and not be talented and not be well coached. But I felt today uh, that when we came into the game, we played well, we'll win. 
I feel the same way Thursday. Uh, I think we've got to play well. But if we play well, uh, we'll win Thursday's game. If we don't, we won't even talk about that. I have time for two more. Coach, you know, you talked about finding guys at a previous press conference, you know, that want to step up here in Henderson. You got the Isaac and you got a big game out of Sean, too. Can you expand on that and his performance? Well, this is what the tournament is all about. You know, a lot of time it's the unsung heroes that get, get you the wins. And, you know, it's those guys that you don't expect. You know, and I challenge I, Ivan today. I said, listen, uh, for us to win this game, you, you got to shut this guy down. Uh, I don't care if you shoot a ball. I don't care if you make a pass. Uh, we've got to – we recruited you to do this. And uh, he's had some good games. Uh, he's been hurt a lot of the season. Uh, but today I thought he was he was special on defense. As far as Sean, I mean, obviously we've gone to him. I mean, if you watched us, we've been uh, throwing the ball to him all year long. And, uh, you know, he's responded some. And, again, as our team, he's been up and down. Uh, but maybe the up is at the right time. Back to Sean, he really wore out their bigs. Can you just talk about getting the ball down to him on the block and have a follow-up question? Well, first of all, we, we we wanted to get it to him because we felt like if we could get those guys in foul trouble that it would hurt them in several different ways. First of all, they can score, but also they're, they're, they're good rebounders. And we felt like if we can get those guys in foul trouble uh, that it would help us. It would help our rebounding, but also – uh, it would give us an opportunity to possibly get in the bonus early. So there was so many positives to try to go to him. And again, today he, he really responded well. And in a season that's had so much heartbreak and frustration, uh, you're up by 13 with 25 seconds left, and you still didn't allow yourself to smile. So <laughs> just what was going through your mind as you knew you were sort of wrapped this one up? Well, until the horn goes off. I mean, I, a lot of times, you know, uh, and I, I told Coach afterwards, you know, I, I didn't mean any disrespect or lack of sportsmanship to continue to coach. Uh, but, you know, there was time on the clock. And when it's time on the clock and what has happened to us this year, I just wanted to make sure we secured a win. Uh, didn't want to leave here uh, without, you know, a win. And I told the guys I was going to do my part uh, to make sure that we continue to advance in the tournament. And we said to each other, we're going to give it our best and my best until the shot clock, I mean, until the game clock runs out. Thanks, Coach. We really appreciate your time. Thank you very much.